the Howard County Public School Systems are committed to school safety. Joining us now in the studio to tell us a little more about the Joint Task Force on School Safety are school superintendent, Dr. Renee Foos, and Chief of Police, William McMahon. Thank you for coming to the show today. Thank you. Well, let's start with you, Dr. Foos. I'd like to know, why was the Joint Task Force on School Safety created in the first place? Well, I want to say we've always been committed in the school system to making sure our students are safe, but the tragedy that we saw unfold in Newtown, Connecticut back in December kind of took this country by shock, and it was quite it's unthinkable. And as a superintendent, my, my first reaction was you know, outrage, and shortly thereafter followed by fear. Um, I don't ever want to see something like that happen here, and so immediately um, Board of Education was very committed in saying, you know, what can we do to prevent this? And I'm, I'm, you know, I'm still asking that question too, recognizing that you can't prevent these types of unthinkable, unnatural disasters, but what we can do is make sure that we're prepared, and so it was very important that uh, we reach out to the police department, and the chief was very responsive. We met the very next day to look at how can you help us, how can you assess the current state of our schools, and what can we do as a school system to make sure that our children are safe and that we can respond should we have an emergency situation that we would need to respond to. And so many of us, myself included, are parents of students here in Howard County. Why, um, what are some of the goals of the task force besides keeping the kids uh, safe? Well, that is very important to us, keeping our children safe, but we also are looking at, in this task force and, and with the, the help of the police department, we're looking at how would we respond? So what are our emergency preparations that we currently have in place and are they adequate to respond to the multitude of emergencies that could occur during the course of a school day? What are our current physical security protocols that we have in place to prevent people from coming in from the outside and, and how safe are they physically? And then long term, which is, is really what we need to look at in the school system, uh, the total well-being of our students. So the short term, the task force was designed to look at the short term, the physical security, the emergency response that we, we would have to, in the event we'd have to respond to an emergency, and then long term effects of um, students and making sure that their mental health and, and all the issues that go along with bullying, the total student well-being is addressed. Okay. Uh, um, that's very interesting. You put bullying in there as well. I thought that was pretty interesting. You you add that because that is part of school safety. Absolutely. Chief, this is definitely for you. How, what's the next step for getting this plan implemented? I looked over it, got a lot of recommendations in there. What's the next step? Well, one of the charges that we got from Dr. Foose and the county executive when they commissioned this um, task force was we want something done in short order in terms of taking. We didn't need a two or three year long study. And so the task force really went to work right away to focus on those three areas that Dr. Foose mentioned and there was a tri-chair in charge of each of those three areas. And um, as we identified issues as the task force went on, we started, we started correcting them. But we also found a number of issues that were going to take a little bit longer time, more resources, and so we've identified those too. One of the things that none of us want to have happen with this task force, because a lot of work went into it, um, not just by the, the, the chairs, but, but more importantly by the number of community, community partners and members that we had involved in this, um, we don't want this thing sitting on a, on a shelf somewhere collecting dust. So each of the tri-chairs has taken the, the um, task force report, broken off um, the recommendations that are more germane to their area, and are working on those issues now. So some things have already been done. Um, you know, there are some schools where we've, um, the school systems already increased the, the buzzer systems and monitoring systems. Other things are still being planned. Um, you know, we have found that in looking at this, you know, we think of the schools and the school system as from 7 in the morning to 3 in the afternoon. These schools are used throughout the day from 6 in the morning to 11 o'clock at night and on weekends. So how do we make all the users um, know what those emergency plans are? So we've been working with the Columbia Association, we've been working with our Parks and Rec and the programs and activities they do in the schools so they have the same comfort level that the, that the teachers and the staff have. Yeah, that, that, and our schools are such a part of the community that people use them 24, yeah. almost 24-7. But now if I'm sitting at home and I've got a child at one of the private schools or the non-public schools in Howard County, um, going like, what about us? What's exactly, and that's one of the things that was uh, very apparent when the task force began its work. You know, this, the Howard County Public School System has great plans, has great templates, um, and they have great staff behind them to help each of the 70-plus schools 
uh, develop those plans. For the private schools, oftentimes they don't have a big support staff. You have a principal, maybe a part-time assistant principal, and you have teachers. So you know, they're trying to do all the things that, that a school principal has to do, plus try to develop and draft emergency plans and, and look at you know, security measures. So we, as a county, with the help of the school system, are going to uh, provide opportunities that these private schools um, and daycare centers, to be honest, can also draw upon the lessons learned and the expertise of the school system and the work of this task force. That's good. We like have all our kids obviously being Absolutely. safe. And where can people find uh, more information about, about the uh, Joint Task Force on School Safety? Well, a copy of the reports on the school website, I believe, uh -huh. at uh, hcpss.org. Right. Okay. And um, you know, certainly if you call the police department or the, or the uh, uh, Board of Education or the school system at any of our numbers, we'll make sure they get the information. Well, thank you very much. It's really great to know that the Howard County Public School System and the Howard County uh, Police Department have gotten together to form this joint task force on school safety. Thanks a lot for coming in.